So there's two really important studies that were presented at ASH um, this year that both are in aloe transplant and both have different approaches to reducing the rate of graft versus host disease while maintaining the curative intent of aloe transplant. The first is orca tea with single agent tacrolimus immunosuppression. And then the other um, strategy is post-transplant cyclophosphamide with mycophenolate and tacrolimus as GVH prophylaxis. So first we'll talk about the study from orca T. So orca T is a cellular immune therapy, which is a purified T regulatory um, population that's polyclonal from a donor. And this is given in conjunction with aloe transplant. Um, so this time at ASH, the efficacy data of a phase 1b2 trial was presented by Everett Meyer. This is a follow-up from my presentation at EHA in which we demonstrated that Orca T is associated with a very low rate of acute severe graft versus host disease of only 5% and moderate to severe chronic graft versus host disease rate of only 4%. So uh, at ASH this year, we showed that the relapse-free survival at one year in patients who had AML, ALL, and MDS who received Orca T was 81% at one year. Um, and importantly, of the patients with acute leukemia, um, the relapse-free survival survival in patients that were in CR but were MRD positive, that subgroup of patients, the relapse-free survival at one year was impressively 72%. In comparison to a historical control from the CIBMTR cohort um, in patients that received double agent prophylaxis of 48%. So 72% versus 48% you know, patients who are MRD positive in CR. So that's a, it's a very good um, rate for patients who had pretty high risk for relapse subsequently. In addition to that, Orca T was well tolerated. The non-relapse mortality for the entire group was 5%, but when you look at the group of patients who received the most common conditioning regimen, um, which was busulfan, fludarabine, and thiotipa, which is myeloablative, um, those patients had a, relapse, uh, had a non-relapse mortality of 0%. Okay, so based on these data, the FDA has supported a phase three trial that's currently accruing patients throughout the country. Now, the other strategy to reduce GVH rate in allotransplant transplant um, is using post-transplant cyclophosphamide. So there was a single um, center phase two trial that presented data um, that used um, post-transplant cyclophosphamide, mycophenolate, and tacrolimus following myeloablative um, conditioning regimen for transplantation. So the rate of acute severe graft-versus-host disease was very low, 4%, and the rate of chronic graft-versus-host disease um, that required treatment was also very low at 4%. Their relapse rate at two years was 25%, and their non-relapse mortality was just below 10%. So both of these trials have demonstrated very impressive reductions in the rate of graft-versus-host disease. Um, but these are two very different approaches, so it's important to understand that. One approach is using single-agent immunosuppression, with a cellular immunotherapy, and the other approach is using triple agent immunosuppression with post-transplant psi, mycophenolate, and tacrolimus. So um, both will have longer term data, and then the ORCA trial will have phase three data. My anticipation is that the relapse rate with ORCA T is probably gonna be lower because you're using only single agent prophylaxis for GVH. That'll maintain the graft versus leukemia effect as optimally as possible. And also with the triple agent GVH prophylaxis, you'll probably end up seeing more medication-related toxicities as opposed to the single agent. So it'll be interesting to see this, and um, we'll just wait for the phase three trial to see if this assumption is correct.